Rumble earnings last night. Here is my reaction to Rumble earnings. We covered it live. Where I see the stock price going, uh, where I see it going short term, long term, my reaction to Chris Pavlovsky, um, the claims that were made. Uh, I'm now going to give you my reaction to that video, uh, at, to, sorry, to that earnings. And I'd like your thoughts. I'm sure some of you will want to reply back to me with what I'm, I'm about to say, but uh, I would like you, I would like your thoughts and uh, I will reply to uh, all of my members. And if I've got time, I'll reply to everybody else after I've replied to the members. But first of all, let's uh, let me show you my position uh, just so you know exactly. Now, I used to be in the stock. I'm out of the stock right now. I sold it uh, when it was pretty much flat on my position. I, I sold it virtually for a wash. I think I was, when I sold it, I'd lost a couple of bucks because I knew it was going down. It went down and then it went down some more. So let's talk about it right now. If you uh, want to get uh, the Rumble earnings, I'll give you a link to that in a minute. And I'll also give you a chance to win $204 uh, cash. We're giving away a cash prize in a few days time. It's completely free, free to enter. And if you watch to the end, I'll tell you how uh, you can win it. But last night we covered the Rumble earnings. Now I do have some experience with this firsthand. Um, I don't know many investors could talk honestly about uh, this situation as I can. Look, this is me live right now as I'm making this video live on Rumble. Here is my Rumble account. That is me live on Rumble right now, as you can see. I've actually got uh, 42 uh, people watching me there at the moment, and I've got 303 followers. Not a huge audience. I've been on Rumble now for probably somewhere in the region of like maybe four months, something like that. Yeah, 338 followers, something like four months. Not too bad. All right. So I've got some experience of how it works, and I can tell you how much I've earned and so on and so forth. And I'm going to share all that information with you. Now, last night on the earnings, we heard from the CEO, Chris. I have to say I was extremely disappointed with the earnings. I have to say, unfortunately, and I hate saying negative stuff, but I'm not here for the CEOs. I'm not here for the companies. I am here for my viewers, and all I care about is, is delivering the most honest, real information to my viewers. That's it. Not to sell the videos, not to drama, not to hype the video, just to tell you the experience as I have witnessed it, in fact, by, by being involved in it. Last night, Chris Pawlowski said it was a great earnings. The CEO, CFO said it was a great earnings, one of their best earnings. Was it? Well, actually, the reality was it was their worst earnings. And I was flabbergasted that we even that these words were uttered, but they were. Uh, this is this is the the last four quarters of the earnings for Rumble. As you can see, they are going down and missing expectations, worse and worse and worse. But apparently, according to them, it was a great earnings. I'm not quite sure where they where what they're looking at or how they come to that assumption. But as an investor, without a question of a doubt. No, you know, no rhyme or reason, no drama. It is, without doubt, the worst earnings they've ever had. No question about it. It's awful. If we look at the stock price, we can see it's continually trending down. I don't know how this can be a great earnings. They said it was their best earnings. Anyway, that's one side of, that's one side of the, the discussion. The other side of the discussion is this. Rumble uh, talked about, and they focused on, and this is me live on Rumble now talking about this earnings. And I do have in my in my stream now nine watching. And I'm going to show you how good that is in a minute. I'm going to explain why that's relevant to this conversation as well. They they talked about what is going to be the catalyst to drive Rumble in the future. And they talked a, a, a bit about uh, the Donald Trump uh, presidential election. Now, as we all know, uh, Donald Trump is quite, you know, he has an opinion and some people love him. Some people hate him. I'm completely impartial. I'm English. I can't vote. I have nothing to do with it. I'm just sharing the facts. Any business, I believe, that that is focusing on and the benefits of, of one side of the political argument is isolating half of its potential customers, number one. 
So I don't think that's a very good business model. Uh, it's never been proved in history that any business can be successful having having a, a political opinion. Now, you may regard they don't have a political opinion, but the fact they're investing and hoping and banking everything on the success of Donald Trump's presidential election is, however, relying on one side of the argument. I think that's a bad business model, personally. I think if you are relying on the success of, of that, then you are taking a huge risk with your business. I would have said that would be a bad idea, but they focused on that. Also, what disappointed me with Rumble earnings was, it was not only disappointing in numbers, it was disappointing in time. And what I mean by that was, it was the worst presented uh, earnings I've done. Ever. I have done two and a half years of earnings, hundreds of earnings from good to bad and all the rest of it. That was the worst. Why was it the worst? They gave hardly any information. The first 10 minutes of the earnings, bearing in mind a most earnings call is an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. This earnings call lasted, I think it was under 30 minutes. It may have been less than that, actually. It may have been more like 20 minutes. I can't remember exactly. But the shortest earnings I've ever done, the first 10, 15 minutes was all about an advertisement and how great Rumble is. Well, you're talking to the investors, number one. Number two, when we then finally heard questions from the analysts and investors, I think there were three questions. Normally on an Apple or a Google or a Microsoft or a Tesla or any other earnings, we might get 20 questions. They go on for like an hour. It gets quite boring sometimes. However, it's important to hear from the investors, the institutions, the analysts. I think we had less than five questions, very short, and it ended very abruptly. Why did it end abruptly? Well, because they wanted to get online and talk to Matt Cause. Matt Cause is a guy on, tick, on, um, on Rumble. Now, let's get one thing straight. Matt Cause uh, is not a financial advisor. He's he's basically a YouTuber, but he's on on Rumble. And they wanted to get to his show, um, to Ra Ra the channel. Now you know as I know, Ra Ra is not what I do. I think it's I think it's terrible when you're just waving a flag and saying how great you are and talking to people that will make you you know pump you up and tell you how great you are. I think that's a, a waste of time. I would rather hear how bad I am at something and trying to improve than to be told I'm great and to be on a channel which just promotes me and inflates me. That's why they cut it early. Finally, what I want to talk about is Rumble's potential earnings, where the stock price is going. I think the stock price is going to continue going down, and here is why. And I wish it would do well. Don't get me wrong. I stream on Rumble up to 10 hours a day, every single day, every trading day, have done now consistently since I started about four months ago, and I'm still here, not going anywhere. Um... But it's earned me a grand total because they talked about how much money it's earning for the um, for the streamers, the creators. Well, I have to say again, very misleading and not true at all. I have I have earned a grand total of twenty seven dollars, and I haven't been paid that yet because you have to reach 50 bucks before you get paid. Now you might go, well, because your content's rubbish. No one's watching you. No one cares about you. Well, fair enough. Fair enough, until I show you this. This is how you get discovered on Rumble. Rumble is not like Google. It's not a search engine. You can't type in and find it very easy. I mean, you, you, you can, but it, it, you'll never find it in the search results. They'll always come 500 pages down, you, you, you know, it, it, Google makes sure of that. Um, so you're not searchable. The way you get discovered on Rumble and how you'd earn money and how how potentially investors could earn their money is is that they put you on the homepage. They put you on the homepage uh, if you are ranking, if you are high, if you've got the most viewers. That is how I believe it is done. And uh, of course, what you want to be is right at the top here with a featured event. That's where you want to be. Uh, I've never been there. You'd have to be famous or you know have a lot of viewers or whatever. I've never been there. However, they have two sections that I could be in. Live, 
live and I've, I've appeared in live many times. In fact, during the earnings last night, I was in the live, but I had about six people watching me. And it wasn't because people had joined in and left because my content was rubbish. They came in and stayed. They loved what I was doing. They engaged with me and stayed. Uh, they followed me. More people followed me yesterday, but there was nobody watching. Well, so where's the money coming from? Okay. If you scroll down, you will see another section which I'm in, and that's finance. Well, that couldn't have worked out better for me. This is this is being advertised. Look, look, I am number one. Number one right now in finance. I am <laughs> number one on the homepage of Rumble right now. There I am, number one. And I have got a grand total of six people watching me. I've had eight, so two people have left. Full disclosure, open honesty, but that's it. And in fact, if you look, Fabinici is one of my YouTube viewers who supported me on, on Rumble. Most of my YouTubers, uh, most of my viewers on Rumble are actually from uh, uh, YouTube supporting me because they're helping me grow. Look, I've got, I'm back to seven. So I'm not really losing viewers, am I? I've lost one. So it's not that no one likes what I'm doing. It's the, and I rank number one right now on the finance page as I'm making this video and yet no one's watching. So what can I say about the Rumble earnings? It wasn't the greatest earnings they've ever done. It was the worst. Creators are not earning money. I've only ever earned $27. And full disclosure, 10 of that was given to me by Craig, who told me about Rumble. So a third of my earnings was a gift. So I've only earned uh, 17 bucks if you want to talk about uh, ad revenue. Um... So there it is. It doesn't actually make any sense. Financially, it doesn't make any sense. It wasn't a good earnings. It was presented badly. And now it's all about whether Donald Trump is successful or not, whether this, whether the Rumble business is going to be successful. So would I invest in Rumble right now? No. Because at the end of the day, is Rumble the best use of my money? No. There's got to be better investments. And of course, there are. There are many things better than Rumble right now to invest in my, to put my money in. So I'm not going to invest in Rumble right now. So where do I see the price going? I have no idea how low it can go, but I don't see any reason why it would go up. I did promise you, if you'd watch to the end, I would give you the earnings and I'd also give you the chance to win $204 in cash, which is exactly uh, what I'm going to do right now. So if you click above my head, that will take you to the earnings and you can listen yourself to the earnings. You can hear what Chris said and you can check everything I've just said and you can tell me, did it make sense to you? Was it, was it factual from what I've just explained to you? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I know it wasn't. Uh, leave me your thoughts where you see the stock price going. I will actually do a, um, uh, a, a poll on Twitter as well. Uh, and I'd like your uh, reaction. Do you see the stock price going down sideways or up from here? There's my Twitter feed. Go up there. Also, I said you can win $204. So uh, click above my head and that will take you to our competition page. And we're giving away $204. It's free to enter. Free for all. It's a cash prize paid out live in our show. And I'd love it to be more. But remember, I've earned nothing on Rumble, so I can't give away any more money. But uh, that's given to us by our sponsor. Go and check, it, check his links out and enjoy that. And last of all, if you want the, the link to the competition video, that'll be here and the Rumble earnings video will be down here. Go and check out that. And as always, take care of your money, your crypto and uh, take care of yourselves. But most importantly, take care of each other.